we in the UPND. It's a great day for our alliance partners. Those colleagues who agreed to unite, to work together, to deliver success in 2021, August 2021. It's a great day for the people of Zambia. Because politics in a constitutional democracy play a very important role because the political parties or combinations produce leaderships as per our constitution. So it means this party, our alliance partners, through our constitutional democratic provisions, we worked hard to produce a leadership and deployed, you deployed us in government. But we never forget who we are. Without a UPND, we would have never been in government. We know that. So we are just your secondees in government. And we will work towards your dictates. What you tell us, what we agreed through our manifesto, is what we deliver, what we work on. But let me return to the importance of today. Today, this party has a history. Walked a long, lonely sometimes. At other times, brutal process. I want to say this party is the most demonized. Its members are most brutalized, yes. most killed, post-independence. It is true. Numbers don't lie. Because the facts are there. But you walked this channel. You walked this channel. Our first president, and I'll talk about it just a little bit. The leadership's there. Many of us played different roles, but it was for the same purpose, as it is today. Many of you play different roles, but for the same purpose. We went ahead and avoided the temptation of going into street fights in order to defend ourselves. We didn't walk into their trap because what they wanted us to walk into their pig hole, into the muddy space, we resisted. We said, no, we will continue working. Even when we felt our elections were taken away clearly, we resisted the temptation to go in the streets to wage war. If we did that, we would have never formed the government. All of that journey, various leaders going through the footage, media again, as the Vice President said, wonderful work you've done. Showing a pictorial view of where we're coming from, how we came to be where we are today. Please continue doing that good work, media. History, the people are telling you, Mwilanda Shakari, Fiatwale Chita, Akubo Menifi. Number one, we are learning history. Whether we going to learn? Ah, Mwilanda Shakari, Fiatwale Chita, Akubo Menifi. They want us to forget that they shot dead Lawrence Van. Mapens Chibu, Crazy Amata. Joseph Kaunda. Hmm, too many. Some of our people live with bullets in their bodies. We've never put a bullet in anyone's body as UPND since we took office. Since we took office, you have even forgotten about pangas. How they look like. You've forgotten. But they were being sharpened in the streets every day. We've come a long way. That's the message. Echo to Afuma. Simply say, one Zambian.
that we are coming from very far. But we are here today because of you, because of Lawrence Banda, because of Mapen's children. All of these were 22 years old, 23, 24 years old. Sacrifice. Joseph. So these memories are there. I want to encourage members that once we are done today, come round, get an organized visit here, look around and see what we went through ourselves. It will tell you a story that you cannot bury. And the book writer soon will write a book. I've resisted doing a book myself. I still have a lot of work to do. We still have a lot of work to do. I let the book writers write when we've done a lot more work for the 20 million Zambians. Then they can write a full story. So today we are here because we had leaders, we had members, we had our first president, President Gambel Amazon, Anderson. Many of you called him Andy Simple. Mm. We had all the leaders that were there. The images show that. But we had the general member who may never be written on those charts equally important. And we decided after, in fact, before we took office, if Watson Lumba is here, Treasurer General. Where is he? Barumba man? Kimavanga. Kimavanga man I said to that man in the deepest of the struggles, as we were working hard to raise pennies to support the party continuously, that we must institutionalize this party. We must make this party outlive us so we can make men and women, men like him, like Gambel, to say, I left people behind. I didn't die in vain. I didn't die in vain. By institutionalizing this part, making it outlast him and outlast a fellow like myself. And we said, amongst the pillars of that institutionalization is to have premises in all the provinces of Zambia, starting with the headquarters here. And here we are today, officially opening this secretariat, raising money from members, contributors, those who put a contribution for one town, float out here and inside. We thank them for that work. Those who just agreed with the idea of institutionalizing this part, we thank them too. Because members would have resisted and said, no, 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 we don't want to do that. You carry members on a vision that they agree with you with. Otherwise, they will not come along. Imbo? Tejo? So today I'm a very happy colleague of yours. I know the Vice President is happy. I know the Cabinet colleagues are happy. I know the NMC is happy. I know members are happy that we are officially opening this Anderson Gambela Mazoka house. We need to give ourselves a good hand. So we will officially open this building, renovate it, and I said to all Secretary General, let's not overdo it, let's do it in a normal way. We don't want to be misunderstood. We, have, we work hard, there's no question about it, we work hard, not because we're in government only, we work hard. But we must also be moderate. So we are realistic and are contextual, given the state of the country. So I'm very happy today, we are all happy today, that we are opening this building. And as the SG said, Kasama, Mansa, Copperbelt, Chipata in Eastern Province, Western Province, Mongoose, West the Northwestern, Choma in, in, in Southern Province. 
Central Province, Kawe, all this. I want to send a message of difference with my Secretary General. He said by December. I didn't tell him we have different plans. By April of this year, a few months from now, all the provincial offices will be in place. All of us. We must work with time. Then we can do other things instead of working on the same thing over and over. So SG, by end of April, we will have the buildings in all the 10 provinces. We may continue improving them, we may continue putting water, but they will be there. And we'll be working from these buildings in all the 10 provinces of this country. Zambia! Zambia! Two years, five months in office, getting to six months, we have settled down. Now we want to crank the party and crank it heavy. Those who say things they say, we shall meet in the field. Today we are voting in Mazabongwe. We, we are meeting in the field. Politics is not about what you feel and what you say, it's what you deliver on the ground. That's politics. We think it's easy to say things. Politics, they are Kwangasha. They are my insults. They are Matushi. No. I want to say to colleagues in the opposition, we have given a lot of democratic space which we didn't have ourselves. We never had a democratic space. If we held a press briefing there, we knew that Tiegas was coming. We knew. And today colleagues are saying there's a shrinking democratic space. It was never there. We are creating it now. Isn't it? There was no democratic space. I couldn't use the air space. You land in Chipata, you were not allowed to go out of the airport. You know the image, all of you. One time at the trip, Mongo, Sesheke, hmm? I was going to uh, Senanga as well, to Sioma. In the middle of the flight, my pilot was told to drop me because the, the flying space was taken away from me. And today you can say there's no democratic space. You have the space. There's a by election today. You won't hear blood there. You won't hear people have been beaten. Sometimes you don't even hear there's a by election. Because no one is being beaten. No one is being stopped from campaigning. Just come and campaign. To move from 0.3% of the national vote to 50% plus one, take Angala. So you are welcome in this country. But for us, I'm saying we will deepen and we have started deepening the growth of our party. With these secretariats, other facilitations that are coming, we didn't want to announce them today because we may be misunderstood, but we have agreed how to proceed. We are ready. We are ready. Even for any alliance, UK, whatever, United, any, we are ready for you. 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 We will meet on the ground. We will meet on the ground. And the people of Zambia, as the Vice President said, are not fools. They understand that there is a difference. The first difference they know is that they are free now. Freedom. Colonialism was fought for first and foremost one thing only, for freedom. We were not free, now we are free. Zambians know that. 
Today someone can sit here and wear a PF regalia amongst us, no one will attack them. Right now, Secretary. Would anyone do that UPND regalia in a PF Secretary where the President was addressing? You are dead meat. So what are we talking about here? Maryland fishing car. Not to be but Zambians are not stupid. They know what's going on. The noise is there, yes. But I don't answer that noise. My job, our job, Vice President, is to work for the 20 million Zambians. They are the ones who judge us after the first five years. Only the first five years.
Num okay. One, let's be clear. One is structures, different structures. Two, recruitment. Three, NRCs. Four, voters' cards. Number five, messaging. Vice President touched on that. Messaging. On social media, you follow the PF agenda. Come off the PF agenda. Have your own agenda. On social media, you see the PF post something that's against us, that's negative. Don't repost it. Let it die there. Put your own messaging there. What are the messages? This is what the Vice President said. Free education. We promise free education. We have delivered. Yes. I would just want the Vice President to go to Parliament to perform her functions. She's leader of government business in, in Parliament. Vice President, you, you may proceed, madam. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, find a better place to pass. Thank you. That's where we deployed her. We deployed her where? As vice president, including being leader of government business in parliament. So she's going to do the work. Let's continue. She talked messaging, free education. We promised free education from the time of Gambela. We said we'll deliver free education. 1997, we continued with that agenda. Today, there's free education, tick. We promised that councils will be paid their salaries. Today, you can tick. We've done it. We promised equalization fund. Today, you can tick, it's done. We promised Kanapsa 20%. You get your money before you retire. Today is delivered. Tick. We promised that retirees will be paid. Today there's no retirees sleeping outside the ministry. 20 years back, they have been paid. Tick. We promised that we'll recruit workers, teachers. They've been employed. Tick. We have employed more teachers than all the governments put together since independence. Numbers don't lie. Medical staff, tick. We say meal allowances, which the PF took away from students, we will pay meal allowances, tick. We are paid. We say councillors were underpaid. And we want them to be paid better. This year we have increased the salaries of councillors. Tick. Soldiers, correctional services, national service, we will employ. Tick, we will employ. We say that. Yes, 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 yes. Zambia, yes. you know, you belong to a beautiful party. But sometimes you forget. Because I see what you post in social media. You forget who you are, where you're coming from. You have a rich heritage. Don't be duped by negative people. Do not do that. You have a beautiful organization called UBND. Be proud of it. Be proud of it. We say that we will give one million dollar equivalent of constituent development fund. We have surpassed our own target from 1.6 million quarter per constituents per year. Now we are giving each constituents per year across the country, no segregation, 30.6 million quarter. Check that one. We said all those that kids that cannot go to invest, that cannot go to college, we will give them skills training. Tick, we are giving them that now. We 
said contracts in CDF will be given to local contractors in the constituency. Tick that box. Zambia? Zambia? I can go on and on. I even forget the list is too long. And today someone says, Naba Firwa, Bafu Memo, we want an early election. Early election, we are double it out here. I don't know what scale of 10, we've already delivered seven in two and a half years. We still have another two and a half years in the first term. When we get our second term, we will be now doing new things which we didn't even talk about, like employing all the volunteers. And so when you hear someone say, we want an election, Be in it. 
forgive my language. Then UPND and the HH comes and try to clean that well so that the water can be clean. Then you climb a tree and say, no, Bakangi Wawa, Bakangi Wankongole. Who peed in that well? Nuevo. So now you want to come back and pee more in that well. No, we will not agree. We will not allow you to do that. Zambians will not agree. So I don't want to waste your time. What else are we going to do? Every month. Every month. Once we've done our structures properly, all the structures, the president will give uniform. All the structures from national management, province, district, constituents, ward, all officials, each one, the president will give a Chitenga and a T-shirt as uniform. I haven't made my message. My message is that that uniform will be wearing it every month, a particular day every month will be chosen as a UPND community day. So we need organization, provincial chair. Team, provincial chair. We need organization. District commissioners. Mweo, you are deployees of the UPND Mweo. What does all come back in our year? We are government workers. We are what? You are deployees of the clean Kulima Tower under the leadership of that team. That's what we'll do. Zambia, Zambia, on that day we will all be wearing UPND uniform regalia across the country. Then we'll take footage, everybody will see us working and we'll exchange information. Ndiye news in the local radio stations. At that point, the government will come from this side the party from this side will be meeting in the middle there, working together. Some of you say, no, HH has abandoned the path, Chipan. Mm. Supporting in many ways, yes. 
Today we support each other in many ways. Today you have made me your servant. I thank you for that. Every day I ask my wife, I say, why should I be the president of Zambia? Out of 20 million people. Why me? Me, I'm just a village. Why me? I must justify being the president. I must earn it. I must work hard. I must deliver for the people of UPND and of Zambia. I remind myself, I tell my colleagues in cabinet, you are lucky people to be ministers. Vice president, you are lucky to be vice president. You're very lucky. You're lucky to be member of parliament. You're lucky to be council, to be DC. Our duty is to remind ourselves that we owe it to the people in our party. We owe it to the people of Zambia. So, all those who think and believe that you can organize whatever concoction you organize and you can quickly come back and take over and think you can take over and start beating people, I call now. I call now. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, 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 ah. I and focus on saving the people. Don't focus on answering these people. You lose direction. Focus on delivering for the people. Free education. People are saying no. The classrooms are full. Children are sitting on the floor. Ah, Chipani Chakangi on it. Ah, Yangutata. Why are there more children in school now? Because of free education. That's a happy problem to have. That kids now are many. What have we done in response? Buy desks, build more classrooms, employ more teachers. Come on now. Come on. Now, you want to come back, go and tell a widow whose child goes to school free of charge that I'm coming back so you can pay school fees again. Go and tell that widow. Go and tell the soldiers serving in Central African Republic who were paid now 100% of their allowance when they were just being paid, paid 50%. Go and tell them that I'm going to withdraw their allowance, I'm coming back. Amen. Go and tell UNSA students, Cobra Belt University, Mulungush, that I'm coming back to take away meal allowance. Back women are straight. That's the issue. That's the issue, colleagues. Unit is important. Munogungo? Munigumvela? Muse Munegutiga? Unity is number one. We won because of unity against guns, against tear gas, against pangas. We won because of unity. We don't leave that which helped us to form government. That's my appeal to even members across the country. Ninji shwa na mumfa wina wina. Ushe na mumfa. Tumo na ma bogo na mum. Zambia. Taonga, Taonga Chomen, 